In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to create this player stats wall in UEFN. So to start off, you're going to go down in the description and join my Discord, where under free assets, you will find the downloadable link to this verse code. The verse code is this one right here. Once you download and follow the steps, all you got to do is right click, select all, right click again, and copy the verse code. Once you have done that, you want to create a new verse code. Usually the verse explorer should be here, but if it's not, just come up to verse at the top, click verse explorer, and it should pop up. Next, just right click on your island name, add new verse file to project. You can name it whatever. I'm going to name it player underscore stats, and I'm going to create empty. After that, just open up verse at the top middle here and go to the new verse thing you just created. Select this and just control V your code into here. Once you have done that, come up to the top left and save changes and just exit it. After you have exited, come up to verse and click build verse code. It should freeze for a sec. Once you've done that, come down to your content drawer and game underscore manager should be there. Just drag it out onto the island. Once you have dragged the verse code out onto the island, you'll see on the right, there's a bunch of settings. There's the kill tracker, death tracker, kill streak tracker, KD tracker, time played tracker. And then there's a bunch of other settings like display stats button and billboard. The display stats button is the button that the player will click and then the billboard will pop up with all the numbers like the kill tracker, the death tracker and all that stuff. Now I'll be showing you how to set this up. Go down to your content drawer and we're going to start off with all the trackers first. So type tracker in content drawer and just drag it out onto the island. Now we're going to do the kill tracker first. So you simply just want to change this to eliminations if it's not already and then put this to the max. You can see the max is only 10,000. But if you come up here and just type as much zeros as you want and then right click copy and then right click paste, you'll have a more of a max target value. Show on HUD, no. Tracker completion ceremony, no. Player eliminations count, yes. Now this setting is up to you if you want non-player eliminations to count. This is like zombies, guards and all that. So I'm going to turn it on just for the sake of the video so I can show you guys that the kills do pop up. And that's it for the kills tracker. So I'm just going to copy and paste it over. Then I'm going to go back to the verse device. The next one is death tracker. So I'm simply just going to go back to the tracker I copy and pasted and change eliminations to eliminated. I'm going to go back to the verse device again. Now I need kill streak tracker. So it's literally just the exact same thing as the first one. I'm just going to copy and paste it, bring it over and just leave it just as it is. Next, we want to do the KD tracker. That is the exact same thing again. Just copy and paste the first one and bring it over. And now the last thing we need to do is the time play tracker. So this one is different. So we're going to copy and paste the fourth one over. And then you're just going to go to stat to track and change eliminations to time played, play time elapsed. Now that is all the trackers you need. I'm going to rename them. How you can do this is go to your first one. Now this is the kill tracker. So I'm going to change this to tracker kills this one is tracker eliminated so i'm going to name it tracker eliminated and i'm going to do that for the rest of them now once i've renamed all the trackers i'm going to go back to the verse device i'm going to click on pick actor from scene i'm going to select pick tracker kill same thing for the death then the kill streak, KD, and finally the time played tracker. Now that I've connected all the trackers to the verse device, you can see that all I need now is the display stats button and billboard. So I'm going to simply just come down to the content drawer and look up button, just place it down, and then you're going to copy these settings. In track time, I'm going to put to one, trigger sound off, in traction text, I'm going to do check stats the interaction radius i'm going to make pretty large about 0.55 and then i'm going to check custom mesh I'm going to come down here and click this red button and then i'm going to scale it up a few around like that and then i'm going to place it on the floor just like that next i'm going to go down to the content drawer and look up billboard should be the first thing drag it out i'm going to change the justification to center I'm going to make the text size a little bit bigger. I'll adjust this later. Now for the text color, I'm going to adjust it to white. 
I'm going to change the text font to Burbank. Outline, I'm going to put on light, shadow on none, and that looks to be good. Now, since we have five different stats with the trackers, we need to make sure that five zeros fit on this one billboard. So what you're going to do is just click zero, hold shift and enter, zero, hold shift, enter, and do this five times, and then enter. So you can see only three fit on it. So you want to adjust it to where all five show, just like that. So 13 font, but you can also adjust the size of the billboard to make the zeros bigger. So I think that looks good just like that. Once you put down the billboard and the button, you're gonna go back to your verse device over here on the left and you're going to click the pick actor from scene display button, connect it to the button and then do the same thing for billboard stats one and connect it to billboard. Now you can see there's a display stats button two and billboard stats two and also a kill streak. So display stats button two and billboard stats two is for if you're doing a red versus blue and you have two different sides. So make sure you connect the one button to the to the billboard stats one and then connect the stats button two to billboard stats two and yeah and then you can see the final one is kill streak hud this is if you want the kill streaks to be physically on the player screen i'm not going to show that in this video i'm only going to focus on the player stats now i'm going to make this a little bit more fancy and how other maps do it so i'm going to come up to the top go to shapes cube bring it out just bring it to where the text is still visible and then I'm going to resize it so it has a like backdrop. I'd say like something like this is good. We'll bring the billboard over to the right more. Next, if you want the player's skin to pop up as well, just come down to the content drawer and look up player. And it should be the player reference device. Drag it out onto your island. Now you want to align the skin with the backdrop. So I'd say around that is good. You can see the arms not showing. So this is good. Now show hologram. Yes. Custom color. You can change the color however you want. I think I'm going to keep it to white for now. Visible game. Yes. Show player details. Yes. Now the animation, you can change it whatever. I think I'll do survey. Player details height. You can change to where the player name and score shows. I'm going to bring it down to around... 40. So I'm going to scale the player reference up. I'm going to go here. I'm going to click 1.25 and just copy and paste that so it fits on the wall. I'm going to bring it down so the feet are right on the ground. Then you're simply going to scroll all the way down and do register player when the button is on interact and then also activate player when the button is on interact. Now what this does is when the player clicks the button, this will pop up with their skin and their name. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the text to show what each zero is referencing. So I'm going to come up to the top shapes and put down a plane. Once I've put down the plane, I'm going to come down to my content drawer and I'm going to put in the kills graphic. Now you can find this graphic in my discord. The link to that is down in the description and it's under free assets and then the player stats section. Once I've done this, I'm going to drag it back to where it's showing. And then I'm going to reduce the size so it fits in the first zero. So something like this works. Then I'm gonna simply copy and paste it, drag it down. So the second section is deaths. So I'm gonna drag deaths onto this plane here. Copy and paste again, drag it down. The third one is KD, so I'm going to drag KD on, copy and paste it, bring it down. The fourth one is kill streak, so I'm going to bring down kill streak. And then the fifth one I'm going to drag down as well. And the fifth one is the time played. Now you can see they're all different sizes, so I'm just going to adjust them so they look the same. So once you've done that, it should look something like this. Then I'm going to copy and paste the kills one. I'm going to add the title, which is this player stats one. Now I'm going to increase the size around to there. Then you're going to bring it in the middle and then you want to drag this up or resize it just like that. Now you have a player's wall. I'm going to push changes and show you guys how it looks in game. So before I load in, I actually did make a mistake. The kill streaks is third and then the KD is fourth. So just simply swap around the graphics. 
So once you've done that, it should look something like this with kills first, death second, kill streak third, KD fourth, and time played fifth. I also forgot two seconds in the player reference. You're going to simply come here. You're going to turn off show base, and you're also going to turn off play audio. You want to come to the eliminated tracker, and I already turned off these two settings, but when you're testing it with a sentry to see if it works, it was messing with it. So you want to turn off player eliminations count, and you also want to turn off non-player eliminations count. Now I'm going to start game, and I'll show you guys how it looks in game. So you can see I'm now in game. I'm going to pick up the scar. You can see the player stats, kills, deaths, kill streaks, KD, time played. When I click the button, it shows my skin and my name. And all these are zero because I currently have none. But if I eliminate the sentry three times and then click the button again, my kills will be three, my deaths will be zero, my kill streak is currently three, my KD is three, and my time played is zero. But now if I go up to the sentry and get eliminated by him, when I respawn and go check stats again, my kills will be three, my deaths will be one, my kill streak will be zero, my KD will be three, and my time played will be zero. Now I'm going to wait a little bit until one minute passes and I'll show you that time played does work as well. So it should be one minute. I'm going to click the check stats. You can now see that the time played is one, my kills is three, my deaths is two, which means that my KD is 1.5. And since I was eliminated, my kill streak got reset to zero. So that is it for today's tutorial. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what tutorial you'd like to see next. And please make sure to go down in the description and join my Discord. That will be really appreciated. And I'll catch you all in the next one.